Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another uh, edition of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. Um, TSU, or SU as it's called, has reached over 5 million users, and this has uh, Zuckerberg very nervous, so he's instituted like a full blown freaking block to where um, if you have um, TSU links, even within photos or videos or anything like that, instead of the usual, you know, oh, you can't share this until you remove the offending URL that we're used to seeing um, when they cock block a link. Um, now it's like a full-blown annihilation. All photos that contain links to your TSU profile or whatever automatically nuked, you know, Naziistically, and same with videos and things like that. And of course, so if you have, you know, TSU links in, um, you know, a YouTube description, it, um, even though it will let you still post the YouTube video, that YouTube video will not be able to be shared. It'll pop up with the usual box. It contains a block link. So um, this little tutorial is to show you how to get around that. Um, it's real quick, dirty, and simple. And um, it will require that you have a Twitter account because obviously... Um, TSU is designed to auto post to Facebook, well, you know, before the black ball, and Twitter. So um, this little workaround will require a Twitter account. I'm going to go into screen share mode so that I can show you guys what's up. Woohoo! The infinite tunnel of Google infiniteness. Okay. So um, this is my PSEC episode artwork um, folder, and of course, anything that contained a TSU link has been nuked. Obviously, there were a lot more pictures in here, but you know now I'm having to, to re-input that stuff, and the same with the videos. Um, let's just uh, go to this one as an example. Uh, this is a funny one. Uh, Hitler hates TSU. Yet another downfall parody. <laughs> Get that a second tall load on the side there and whatever. Okie dokie. Now, as we expand this, see where right here it says TSU link and it's got a GOO.GL. And now if I click that, that opens up to a Twitter link. Give it a sec. And then when I quick click the Twitter link, okay, sometimes that happens for whatever reason, but I hit retry. Come on. Yep, yeah, there we go. It's loading. Um, I don't know why that happens sometimes to where when the when the first time you try to go to a TSU link, sometimes it'll time out, but that is a fake error. Ignore that. Just reload it like I just did. And as you can see, it comes right up. Um, we have the we have the TSU link here and you know, there we go. So you can see that this does in fact work. And you can also link, you know, directly to um, your main Sue profile you know, um, any, any Sue links you want, um, can use this method. And for the moment, I am going to want to show you how to do this in the first place. So, okay, let's go here. I just want to pick a link from the uh, PSEC Facebook page that isn't already on the TSU side so that I can then share that and have it generate the Twitter link and stuff. Obviously, you know, you can manually post to Twitter if you want to, but why do that when TSU can automatically do it for you? Or Sue, if you want to call it that. Okay, um, this is a cool one. Sometimes Facebook photos will post to TSU and other times not so much. We will see what happens in this particular instance. And, okay, cool. So I'm going to check mark my 
Twitter here. See, post to Twitter. So I just hit that and it's posted and I'm going to open my Twitter profile page in a new tab. And as you can see, you know, there it is. It's posted. And when you hit the timestamp on it, see Time Warrior at DB, D, the TWDK underscore music, eight seconds. Highlight the eight seconds and, you know, click into that. And lo and behold, you know, there we are. Um, we we have the, the link that goes back through. And obviously, um, if I were to go like this, then bam, see? There we are. So we can see that Twitter is sharing it. Not a problem. Now what we're going to do, we're going to want to highlight the, the Twitter link that is um, in the address section of, of our browser here. I can hit control the control key and the letter A, um, which is, you know, select all. Or I can right click in this box and I can hit select all. And then of course control C does copy or I can right click to bring up the menu and then, you know, click copy that way. So now I'm going to go to goo.gl and that is Google's little redirection service there. I'm going to click the thing to tell it that I am not a robot. So, okay, I'm not a robot, cool. So I'm going to get rid of the link that I had in there and replace it with my Twitter link. Shorten URL and ta-da. So now you have your, you know, your little Google uh, go.gl workaround link and then you can take that link and utilize that link within the description of, you know, Facebook videos or, you know, YouTube videos or Facebook images or what have you and not have to worry about, you know, our, our Facebook Fuhrer, Mark Zuckerberg, um, you know, interfering with all that and being a censorshipping little Nazi bastard fuck that we know he is. My opinion, TM. <laughs> So yeah, obviously, I'm going to copy that link. I'm just going to load it up in here, uh, just so you guys can see that it works. Just verification. So I do that. It redirects. Boom. Right back to the Twitter link. A moment there. Yeah. And, you know, of course, I'm, I'm just, I like opening links and new tabs. It's just what I do. Um, so open link and new tab. And bada boom, bada bing. You know, it goes straight back to the uh, the Sue post, the Sue link. You've got it right there. So you've just you know undone the cock block. Um, you've you've taken Zuckerberg's tiny metaphoric dick that's in your way and just shredded it. And yeah, um, total workaround. You can now feel free to to you know use that with Facebook videos, um, Facebook pictures. Now, if you were to try to post one of those links just as like a direct raw Facebook post, um, the metadata is not going to pull through. So you're going to have to write a manual description and add your own image and stuff like that, which is a bit of an annoying process. So I would recommend using this to, you know, put links into existing content, you know, such as a Facebook vid a video, such as a YouTube video, such as a Facebook picture, you know, so on and so forth. So then you can have that in the in the description of that sort of content and people can look in there and, you know, go through and click into that and can do so without things getting cock blocked and mangled and you know have the totalitarian goose step all over your shit so yeah bit of uh, liberating information there so until they decide to figure out a way to do a deeper scan and you know somehow undermine that which hopefully they don't do that but um you know if they do i'm sure you know somebody will think of some other way to get around it but in the meantime this works and um I hope you have found this helpful, and that is the end of this little tutorial, and hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching, and peace out.